Hey guys, welcome back to another simple capsule wardrobe video. I am going to be showing you in the simplest way possible how you can build your summer capsule wardrobe using just five steps. The capsule wardrobe that I created for today is called a seasonal wardrobe. So I did create this to revolve around the summertime because we are approaching summer. And for this video, we are just going to be working with what we have in our own closets. If you love fashion and lifestyle content, hit that subscription button if you want to see more from me. And if you really like top like these, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know that you love it. Your interaction and comments help me get to know you better and just helps me understand what type of content to be putting out for you. As always, don't forget to check my description box. I will leave all the clothing and items that I use in today's video linked down below for you. I followed the steps in a blog post by Classy at Trendy and I'm going to leave that link down below in case you were wanting to read up on that blog post yourself. I've done so much research on this topic and I felt like this blog post is still the most simple approach to a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is just a small collection of clothing that you love from your own closet that you can mix and match to get a couple different outfit combinations. It has some of the most essential clothing items that work around your lifestyle. So things like skirts, pants, dresses, coats. A capsule wardrobe is a way to save money and be creative with clothing you love and own. To begin, it's a good idea to have a section of your closet cleared out so that you could put the capsule portion in that section of your closet. Or you can just buy a really cheap portable closet like the one that I have and I'm using today. I will leave it links down below for you because I have loved this portable closet. I've used it so much in my videos. Step one of creating your capsule wardrobe, all you need to do is choose between having black or navy as your base color. I chose black as my base color just because I have so many options that correlate with that base color in my closet, but choose whatever color suits you best. Step two is finding out what your neutral color coordinating essentials are. So this would be neutral solid colored clothing in your closet that is blue, white, gray, brown, or black. So these solid colored neutral dresses, pants, and shirts are going to act as the core of your capsule. But I'm going to show you the items that I selected for my closet. So for the bottoms, since it is summer, I wanted to have a nice pair of very comfortable shorts that I wear a lot during this time of the year. So I chose my Levi wedgie shorts. These are in size 10 and these are very much well worn. And then I went for my American Eagle high-waisted curvy mom jeans just because these are very loose and the high-waisted is always fun to wear with crop tops and smock tops. And then I also went for my much-loved ASOS high-waisted mom jeans. These I just love wearing with crop tops too. They just go really well with it. These are extremely high-waisted. I like having the option of wearing pants in the summer too just because I'm inside a lot. So I will wear pants, um, especially high-waisted pants that I can wear with like cute crop tops and stuff like that. I only chose those three bottoms, but of course you can choose however many you want. And then next I'm gonna move on to the tops that I selected for this step of the capsule wardrobe. I like to have some layering essentials in my capsule. So I have this white tank top from Loft. And then this gray tank top is also from Loft as well. And then I also went for a black, a little bit more dressy satin tank top. This is definitely more of a champagne color, but I wanted to kind of make this fall into the beige category. So it's stretching it just a little bit, but just working with what we have. To finish off the tops, I have a black crop top that I got from H&M. And these are really nice to wear with high-waisted jeans and shorts. And then of course I have my Madewell white cream shirt. This is really nice to have in the summer. Having a light white plain t-shirt I think is definitely essential that needs to go in my closet. And then I also included this cream top from Shein. Um, I just had to include the puff sleeves in there. I just have two sweaters for this because it does actually get a little bit chilly around here in the summertime, especially down at the water. So I always include my Madewell cardigan. This is so nice to wear down at the beach just walking. And then I just have this layering duster cardigan. It's very lightweight. This is from Express and it's perfect for the summer. It's really nice to wear with shorts. So I included this in my selection for the summer capsule.
I'm including a dress, romper, and jumpsuit for this second step of the capsule wardrobe. I included this light wash blue romper from Lulu's just because it's very lightweight and it's very appropriate for the summer. And then I wanted to include for the jumpsuit my blank NYC overalls. I like to wear these overalls sometimes with just a bralette or even just like a crop top underneath it and it's just a really cute look for the summer. And then of course I love this cream colored boho dress from Lulu's. I wear this a lot and it's very comfortable to wear in the house or even outside. It's just so lightweight and perfect for the summer. While you are choosing these neutral colored dresses, tops, and bottoms for your closet, something to keep in mind, the items that you select, make sure that they can go with at least three other things in your capsule. That way you can just have a lot of outfit combinations with the items that you choose. So now we're gonna move on to step three of creating your capsule, which is finding your accent color. So if you're going for a more minimalistic wardrobe, this step is definitely optional. But this is just one of my favorite parts because I love adding pops of color, especially for the summer, and especially with this whole pastel trend. Um, so here's a chart that Classy Trendy included in her blog post that you can use to help narrow down the selection of colors that you could possibly use as an accent color. But I chose a color that correlated with my base color black. Um, so just make sure that you choose a color that correlates with navy if that's what you went for for your base. I chose lilac and apricot as my accent colors. So I chose this really pretty, very light lilac colored blouse from Nordstrom. I love the cropped smocked tops, so I had to include that in my capsule for the summer. And then for my apricot color, I chose this blazer, which is a little bit difficult to wear sometimes in the summer, but I will sometimes pop on a blazer. I think they're just perfect for transitioning from the spring into the summer. I only chose two clothing items for this particular step. You can do as many as you want. Um, I just wanted to keep things simple and keep things moving along. <laughs> so now we are on to step four, which is adding patterns and layers. Classy Trendy suggested having at least one to three options for tops, bottoms, or dresses. Examples of patterns for the summer that you could choose from would be stripes, polka dots, florals, gingham, and print patterns. For this step, I chose florals and polka dots. So I went along with her suggestion of having like at least one top. I chose this smocked top from Shein. Um, it is long sleeved, but it's very lightweight and it's a very pretty retro floral pattern. So that's the top that I chose. And then I went for a jumpsuit too. I went with a floral jumpsuit. This is one that I got off of Stitch Fix. And then I also went for two dresses, just because I love dresses in the summertime. But I went for this puff sleeve polka dot dress from ASOS. I have already worn this a couple of times and I love it. So, and of course it's sticking with the puff sleeve trend that I have been loving this summer. This dress is following the floral pattern that I went for. And it's also puff sleeves. Um, it's a midi dress, it's off the shoulder. I made sure that the florals that I chose for this step matched the accents and base colors that I chose for my capsule. For my layers, I wanted to have a trench coat that matched the dresses that I chose and just kind of fit into the base colors and everything that I chose for this capsule. So I went with this Banana Republic trench coat. And then I also went for a jean jacket. Um, this will just be nice to have as a layer if I don't feel like having a sweater. Um, just having like a ripped jacket like this is nice to go for like a denim on denim look if I want to. And I didn't go too crazy with layers just because it is the summer. Um, I also wanted to say you could also throw in a sweatshirt or something if you wanted to add that as a layer, um, just as an idea. Examples of layers that you could include during the summertime to add some texture and depth to your outfits could be trench coats, teddy coats, jean jackets, leather jackets, oversized jackets, and even kimonos. And now we're on to our last step of the capsule wardrobe, which is choosing your shoes and accessories. 
I made sure that the selections that I chose for shoes would first of all match my lifestyle, go with all of my base colors and accent colors for this capsule. So I was left with four options for shoes. My first selection I went for tan flats just because I know they're really nice and simple to wear with more of a dressy outfit if I do decide to wear a dress or something. And then I also went for white sneakers. The white chunky sneaker is so big right now. I pretty much wear chunky white sneakers everywhere. So I definitely had to have that as an option in my capsule. And then I also went for this new heel from Lulu's. It's another dressier option to have for my dresses. And even if I want to dress up like a, a denim look or jeans or even jean shorts, I just wanted to have that as an option in my closet. And then I wanted to add a pop of color. So I did include my yellow heels that I purchased from Stitch Fix. And then for accessories, you could include things like the trending headbands or I have some pearl clips that I love wearing in my hair. Um, but I am including this sun hat as an additional accessory because I have been obsessed with straw hats recently and I just love pairing them with midi dresses. You can include necklaces, jewelry, earrings, all that. That definitely would fall into this category of accessories. I decided to leave that out today just because we would be here all day if I did decide to go into that topic. So there you have it. There are the five steps in creating your capsule wardrobe. You can make this your own. You can make it very minimalistic or much bigger, much smaller, just depending on your preference. I love that the capsule wardrobe is something that you can make into your own and it's something that you can do at home. And it's just a great way to get more organized use what you have, save money, and maybe even invest in the things that you need to be looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.